Hi, my name is Emil Yu Paradorn. Welcome to the Aspire Center out of New York City in Manhattan. Today we'll be discussing how to put your hip back into place. So, if you were to imagine that my hand here is your hip socket and then my fist here is your hip bone, what's supposed to happen, your hip is supposed to stay centered. Some people are slightly forward. If you're slightly forward, what happens, you land in the right spot and as a result, your hip will start clicking. If you keep doing this, the muscles in front of your hip over here will get tight, trying to put your hip back to place. So you may get a diagnosis of you know, tight hip flexors or hip bursitis or iliopsoas, tendonitis. But those are more secondary. The, the main thing to do is learn how to put the hip back into your place. So the way you know that you have this is by doing a simple test. So I want to demonstrate here on Esther. You sit on the edge of the chair or bed. You put your knees together like this, and you just bend forward. Okay? When you bend forward, you should feel nothing in the front part of your hips. If you feel any discomfort there, that means your hip is not articulating correctly. As a result, it's trying to pop forward, and therefore you feel some pain. Come back up. So you have to put it back into place. The way you do that is you take your thumb, you find your hip bones, you find it, and you come right off. Because your, your goal is to push down the head of the femur back in the spot. You do the same thing on the other side. So I want you to push down and then bend forward. You come all the way down. The goal is when you go all the way down, to give it a little push. So you're pushing and you're rocking. You're pushing and you're rocking. And you can do this for 30 seconds or maybe even a minute in the beginning. After you're done, you need to see if it's back into place. So the way you do that is very simple. You move your hands. Okay? And then you bend forward. Okay? And then you should feel that you could get down further or hurts less. That means you, you know that exercise helped you. And then you need to do it again more and more until there's no pain. So this is a nice way of putting the hip back into place. It's nice to do you, could do. you could do this at the office or you're sitting on going to the bus stop or if you're in a subway. However, the most effective one requires you to be on, all hand, on your hands and knees, which is very difficult to do if you're in a work environment. But I'm going to show this one just in case you really want to put an extra type of force putting your hip back into place. So can you get on your hands and knees for me please? Can you face that way? So let's pretend her left hip was the one that was in dysfunction. Same thing, you can take your thumb, find the hip bone. This time you're pushing down this way towards the heels. Push down really hard, arch the lower back, arch the lower back, and trying to sit your butt towards the heels as you push down. And you do this little, little rocking type of motion. And you're going to do this for, once again, 30 seconds to a minute, and then you retest as I demonstrated before. This is an effective way of keeping a hip into your socket. However, the long-term battle requires the muscles that hold it there to be strong. And we'll demonstrate in the other videos how to exercise your glute maximus in order to get this done.